She was going up at some points by 25,000 subs a day. Yeah. What's going on, Wolves, and welcome to today's video. I have a very special guest. This Hi. is Ina. For all of you who don't know, she is my um, sister-in-law. Recently, just like a new family engagement no, thing. No, I'm, I'm her novia. She's my girlfriend. English is not her first language. She is from Chile. She speaks a lot of Spanish. In fact, more Spanish than English. But yeah. she's perfect in English, she's, so she'll be fine in this. Don't worry. Don't like get nervous now. Like, yeah, now you're like everybody <laughs> knows that's not the first thing. My nose. Okay, I'm gonna try. Actually, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. The point of this video is to talk about how she went from zero subscribers, like that shadow right there. We got a light. We got bright light right here. Yeah, I'm like trying to. It's look really where the bright. Camera is we're trying to get. Time. We're trying to get the lighting good for you guys and make this nice clear video. Zero subscribers to 500,000, over 500,000 in less than eight months. This one right here. So it's an honor to be amongst such a, such a talented young lady. Thank you. So we're gonna be talking about how she did it, what were the things that she did, what were the things that she didn't do, and how you guys can learn from that and also grow to hopefully a great big number on YouTube or on any type of social media. How much do you have on Instagram? 500 something. So she has 500,000 on both. You know you have a million people between the two accounts? But most of them are the same people that we like it, so they... Look at this. I'm gonna pull this up on the screen right now. Over 20 million views in the last six months. That's wow. more than the whole of Los Angeles watching you. I don't know if my number is better than I do, right? I'm really <laughs> a nerd when it comes to I numbers, guys. I yeah, love I just seeing it. what I don't know, just YouTube and like growth strategies yes. and like marketing and branding and all like looking at seeing how how you can actually analyze numbers to grow more is just really cool for me. And it's cool to be able to to see how you've done so well. Okay, I'm not I'm not an expert. What I'm if I can tell you guys or explain how I did it, it's just like a theory because I'm not No, you're an expert. No. No, she's an expert. <laughs> if I'm telling you this, guys, it's because it worked for me, but I don't know if it can work for anyone. Obviously, like, everyone's going to have different situations exactly. the way it plays out, but this is how she did it, and, uh... I think there are really important things, though. Yeah. Like tips. I can give. Good. Okay. And I'm going to take notes, too. Okay. I need it. <laughs> no, you're doing good. He's growing faster than ever. Right now, it's going well. It's He's going really well right now. Really Thanks good. to you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Really happy you're here. And, uh, and he's doing whatever, like what he loves. Too. I, it's, it's what I love. Yeah. I love just talking to sisters in laws. <laughs> really good at really Okay, so <laughs> if you had to give anyone, we're going to start in the very okay. beginning. Ask. Six months ago, when you got first started on YouTube, what was like, let's, you want to tell them the story kind of? Okay. Because it's crazy how it all happened, and it started actually in Mexico, which is funny because we're in Mexico right now. Mexico nine months ago. Mexico nine months ago, hit it off, explain what was the situation. Okay, so I started YouTube um, because of him. I started doing my my videos all in English. Wait before, we're going way before this. We gotta take it back. Okay, so we further. have to tell it. What, what were you doing before YouTube? Okay. I was modeling. I used to model. That's how I met Adam, actually, because I went to Los Angeles to work as a model. So I went there. I met Adam. Then I had to leave from LA and I went to Mexico to work for two months. And then Adam went visiting all the time. And I was like, okay, I like this guy. Let's go back to LA. And so not just like, it's more than like. I really liked him. He asked me more to like be more, her girlfriend, like and it was like, of course, I love you. And like, yeah, it was. This is this is after special. seeing each other for like five months. We came back to LA and then we started traveling. He wanted me to go to South Africa. He started his vlogs and we were like vlogging together. He it was his channel, everything in English. I was just like the extra there. No, you were the main character. And like, in every video. In the music? Yeah. You know? <laughs> like the music, cinematic parts, it was all. I couldn't video. talk a lot in the camera, <laughs> so I was just like like running in slow motion, but that was it. So that's what happened, and then we went to LA back again, and Adam was like, you have to start your own channel, you have to, 
Um, I just thought she had so much potential, you know, and also I'm mm -hmm. such an advocate of yeah. using social media to grow a brand and just be online because the time we live in is crazy. Yeah. And she always said to me like, oh, I love doing the videos with you. I would want to do something. So I kind of forced her into and you know how Adam is with his speeches. I was like, okay, I have to do it because I had no choice. Like, I, like yeah. he really convinced me. You guys me think of it's bad it? on camera? It's just in person. Oh, like, you, you know, know yeah. you know. <laughs> it's actually okay. So I was like, let's do it. I really like it. I like watching him edit it, edit his videos. I really like it. So I was like, okay. fun fact: Ina edits all of her videos. She gets now because she doesn't have as much time. She has some editors help. Sometimes, but everything until 500k. She edited herself and she had never done any editing before. And it was Ever. a struggle, guys. I was like five hours in front of the computer trying to make like something make sense because when I talked, it was like just not even. You know, when you're nervous talking to somebody, it was the worst with the camera. And even it was worse. Like nothing made sense. Why? Because you started in English. So we and didn't we didn't know Spanish was the right thing for Ina six months or nine months ago. Yeah. So we were like, all right, let's make your first video. Tell your story in English. And that's what I told Ina, put her in front of a camera, gave her about 20 minutes to come back. She is And like, I cry. Cry. Cried, cried, cried so much. And I was like, it's fun. If you go to that video, I don't finish that video. I'm gonna pull, like, I'll pull the video up right now so you guys can see a little no. clip from it. Hi everyone, this is Ina. Welcome to my first video ever. This is the first time uh, talking to a camera. <sighs> I've had so many times, like, I'm this close to race it. So many times. <laughs> Isn't that like, weird so seeing Ina anyway. do a video on her channel in English? And that's how it started. She cried though. She was so upset that she didn't feel like she could get across what she wanted to say in the camera. She was like shy in front of the camera. And if that's any hard. of you feel like that, I mean, look, she felt like that nine months ago and now look where she is. So it's, it's pretty yeah. crazy, like everything is practice. Practice makes perfect. If you're nervous, mm -hmm. just keep doing it. And I feel camera is one of the things that I was more afraid of. Like talking in public and cameras, like I used to go do casting because I was a model. And when they told me I had to be, it was a commercial casting and you have to talk to the camera or act, I would do so bad. Like I would just lose my time going there because I was horrible. So yeah, if you push yourself to do something and you really put you in the worst situation, if you do it every time for like a month, I do. Um, I do like one month every day. And well, I edit it every we're, day. We're not there yet. Okay, I'm sorry. So, so we're gonna we're, we're fast forwarding <laughs> now. She does her video in English. I promote her on the channel from the Wolves. At the time, she got a few thousand views from that. Yeah. Yeah. Now shout she out. now she promotes me, and I got like a hundred thousand. <laughs> That's not true. No, it's good. I it's it's you've you've definitely been the the, the alpha. In the situation here. That's not true. But I learned from her now. You no. I learn I keep learning about you. Like I don't know how to talk to a camera and I like I need it. And Adam's been teaching me how Ina to do it. Ina kills it on camera now. Have you seen her in her if you haven't seen one of Ina's videos, link to her I channel learned. below. <laughs> She's like <laughs> But then I cut all the part that doesn't make sense because I sometimes like talk more than I should. What you guys see on camera isn't real life. Remember that. No. Editing can change a lot. So if you are scared of being on camera or something, remember you can always edit it and change it. But fast forward, she's doing like four videos in English. We start traveling again and we are in Mexico at dinner one night and we're talking and since we're in Mexico, everyone around us is having this conversation in Spanish. And I'm like, why don't you like maybe try a video in Spanish instead of English? Because all of her videos that she had done before that were English. And she's like, yeah, I should do that. Because we literally, we never thought about doing no. Spanish. So she makes a video in Spanish and... That video goes viral. Viral. Really viral. Um, Adam was on the phone 24 seven looking at my numbers, how they grew, grew subscribers. She, she, she was going up at some points by 25,000 subs a day. Yeah. 25,000 subscribers per day. Now, I think the reason why it went viral is a few reasons here, so we're gonna break them down so you guys can okay. kind of learn from it. Number one. We didn't know though. We didn't Everything know, yeah. Was, no. like, we didn't know. Okay. So, number one, she made her video in a different language that she was more comfortable in, meaning she actually was able to be her, her real personality and not try to talk in a language that she wasn't comfortable in. But I look weird. I didn't know how to talk to the camera and people liked it. I don't just understand what I'm saying, but I'm actually kind of weird, but people like that. People like that because they feel like- People like seeing your real personality. 
Exactly. So don't try to hide it behind the camera and act a certain way, be yourself. If you're scared to start a video, you have to start saying, okay guys, this is my first video, I'm really scared, and it probably is gonna be really weird. Yep. And then you start. Just get it off your chest. So that's Tell how it starts. Boom. <laughs> Second thing, she doesn't look like she speaks Spanish. No. At all. So her thumbnail, which at the time, we didn't know what she was, she didn't know, she did it. She didn't know what she was doing. She just put a picture of herself as a thumbnail and titled it, my first video ever in Spanish. In Spanish ever, maybe. Spanish ever. When people come across that thumbnail, they see a girl who doesn't look like she speaks Spanish with the title of my first ever video in Spanish. And it's kind of like intriguing. So thumbnail, title, super important because it gets people to click. You're gonna have the most amazing video in the world, but if no one knows about it. But the question is, the big thing that happened is that one kid was going viral because of one of his videos. But he was actually a gringo. I, I'm not, but he was American and he looked American. So his title was my first video in Spanish. And Ina didn't know that. And she titled her know. own video that as well. And what happened was, her video piggybacked off of that video, so when that video ended, it was the first recommended but wait, video. This video has nothing to do with me. This video is, was actually American talking in Spanish, but it was super funny. And then they saw it recommended my face, and they thought it was the same video because it had the same title. My, I looked like American, so it was like, let's do this. And they knew I was speaking Spanish. And guys, like, you don't understand, like, she uploaded the video the next day, it had like 10,000 views in one day which was way more than she ever got before, right? Because yeah. she was got a few thousand views before that. And then all of a sudden, it just hit. It was like 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 subscribers. But at the same time, the next secret for growing, which I think was critical, was? From that day, guys, I upload every single day. She was uploading every day from the minute she uploaded in Spanish without even knowing the video went viral yet. Yeah. So like what happens is, is like the compounding. So the one video went up, then she uploaded the next video, next video, next video. So what happens is you get into the recommended section on YouTube and you get YouTube. I mean, YouTube is based off of an algorithm, right? So the more you upload, the more they like you, the more ads they can put on your video, the more they will recommend your videos. So she had a video that was trending with videos every day. So her account became popular from being a recommended and then here we are nine months later with 500,000 plus subscribers growing at still what a thousand subscribers a day yeah a thousand subscribers plus a day it goes up and down but yeah. but i remember like look like when you were 19,000 subscribers and now you're here and that's no, just in like six months but yeah it, i think the most important thing is just to take it really seriously uh when adam was looking at my phone to the numbers growing and growing i was like i don't like I wasn't taking it seriously. Like, I was like, Adam, that's not even worth watching. And when it was it, pretty, it was like, if you guys don't know Social Blade, it's a website where you can see like statistics of your YouTube or anyone's YouTube channel and they actually have a real time live counter and you can see the stats going up, like the subscribers. We would remember, we would let it sit in the and car. watch it in the car for 10 minutes. We would drive somewhere, 400 new subscribers. No, it was crazy, it but I didn't insane. understand it. For me, it was just numbers, you know? But the crazy thing is that when you believe you can do it once, you can do it a lot of times. Actually, that viral video is like my fourth more watched video right now. So when you get one viral video and you believe in yourself and you know that you can actually do it and you see comments and you see people and everything, you start believing you can, that you can do a viral video, that you don't need like a big production or you don't need like whatever. So that's when I started like vlogging. Vlogging can make like good views, but then you have to work on the viral stuff if you want to grow a channel. And I think that's why people keep coming to my channel because I have ups and downs. I can be growing by 600 or I could be growing by 5,000 people a day. So I think watching numbers is actually really smart what see, Adam was doing. See what yeah. is working for you and then just keep doing right. that. But don't change your essence. Like um, try to be you all the time because people can ask you for stuff that you don't want to do. Like. A lot of people want me to say like tips and like workouts and makeup tutorials and that I've done, but like I don't feel the same and I, they don't have the same views because it's not real. And I think YouTube is a platform where you have to be really real or you need to work, you know? Mm -hmm. Real TVs that's for that. Agree. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's how like you keep people coming, new people. Because the vlogs are for people that is in your channel and want to know more and they like you already, but for getting more 
eyeballs and people and subscribers and everything, you have to come up with really cool material and new and I don't know. Just quality is really important the too. The traffic sucker is what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> I, call them, I call those videos the traffic sucker. It's like get new people to the yeah. channel versus just giving content to your subscribers base, which is building the relationship they know. I've gone over this many times with them before. Sure. But it's just, it's super important. So you have two types of videos and uh, But you know what? Adam is the one who has made me realize all this. Because I say like I know it, but like he's been like the the head behind it, you know? Like I just do my videos no, and enjoy it. No, but if I, I can say something and I can help you, but if you're not actually like putting the work in and really, like Ina no, would sit hard, in front yeah. of the computer and in front of the camera for hours and hours and hours, four or five hours a day. We were uploading every day. Ina was uploading every day for about four months. Every yeah. day for four months and she was filming and editing every day. And nobody understood my videos. So they couldn't help me, you know? Yeah, I, it's how, like, I can't edit, it's in Spanish. It's not, oh yeah, like, I don't, still to this day, I still don't know what most videos are about because yeah. of the fact that they're in Spanish. So she has to like sit me down, like read them to me and yeah. like go over it. But I'm so proud of you, you've done amazing. You too, baby. And I, too, I call baby. it right now, like four months from now, she'll be at a million. So if you guys are watching this video right now, wow. no pressure to That's you. That's pressure. Four months right from there. now, Ina will hit a million on YouTube. Thank you, babe. That would be amazing. And you guys were here to see it firsthand. Okay, if we would end off anything for them right now, one tip, one thing, if you were gonna tell someone who's getting started or someone who's okay. doing content creation, what you would say to find success on YouTube, one thing. Can I say three? Okay, that's even better, <laughs> three things. Okay, first of all, uh, okay, be yourself, whatever, like do what you really love. Uh, second of all, try to, um, quality is super important. For me, when I look at YouTube videos, I really want to see a really good quality video. Even if their edition is not the best, even if like you don't talk to the camera, but like if you can hear ex like really clear what they're saying and see really good colors and like nice things, uh, they will watch your video. And it's really important how much, how many minutes of watch time uh, people watch your video. I don't know that. But that's probably the most important thing for YouTube's yeah. algorithm. Not title, not thumbnail. Not likes, not, not comments. likes, not comments, none of that. Watch, watch time. time. If someone watches your video and they stop watching on average 20 seconds into it, your video's not gonna be recommended. Because remember, it's not real people at YouTube recommending it. It's a it's a robot, it's a algorithm. So exactly. YouTube bases the watch time, the percent of a video watched, as an indication that your video is good to recommend. Exactly. So that is critical. So anything you guys can do, like... For example, I, I've seen like really good YouTubers. I've been trying to like understand how they do it. And there's so many YouTubers that they put in the thumbnail or the title, something that happens at the end of the video. And? So people wait until that happens. So they watch the whole thing. But more, more importantly than that, uh, what do they do in the beginning of the video? They put a little bit, a clip of Key. like the end of everything or like a really clear, a critical hanger. thing that you have to put it at the end so people watch it, the whole thing. I don't do it, honestly, I, I don't do it, but I try to make my videos like super like, okay, let's do this, let's do that, like trying to not get bored the audience because even me, sometimes I watch my videos and it's like, like start yeah. like, skipping it and that's not the whole point. If you want to put up a video, try to love it and try to, if you enjoy it, people will enjoy it and try not to think your people is like, oh, they're gonna love it, like, because, they want to look good things. Like. Attention span of people nowadays is this. Yeah. Nothing. So like, you got to keep someone engaged throughout. Something that I'm working on all the time because I'll sometimes talk to the camera like this for a while and a lot of people, if you're interested, you're interested. If not, it kind of can get boring, right? Yeah. So you have to keep it engaging, keep the camera moving in and out, propping it. You have to like figure that. it out how to do it. Like for me, it's like a lot of energy. Like I'm a really positive person, but I'm not shouting like I shout to my, like, my people in my videos because I'm not like that but I when you look somebody super excited and like moving and everything you want to keep looking you know so and you have to find your thing exactly sure. and like on video everything is toned down so like if I was just talking to you guys like this the whole video and didn't really have much of an expression right and I just was talking about how you know grew on YouTube and it was really cool because like her subscribers really people liked her like it's just kind of like <laughs> so you got to just yeah. be a little bit more like engaging like when YouTube was there you know was so excited because she was able to do this 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 and that you know keeps it more use the hands use the eyes he's not acting though 
All right, with that said, guys, hopefully you got something out of this video. And the uh, camera storage just got full. And another key tip for you guys, get a memory card that actually is big enough so that it doesn't stop throughout your videos. But because we're at the end of the video, we got lucky. We got lucky. What we were saying is just keep going, like put the work in. It just takes time and most importantly, patience. Everything will get to where you want it to be. You just have to put the time and effort in and just never give up. Because if you give up, Ooh, you would never get there. I was about to give up, actually. Yeah. Two days before that. Oh, that was the story. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, real quick, we'll go real quick. Ina, when we were in Mexico, when she started doing the videos in English, she wasn't seeing much success. She was about to go to back to LA to do modeling because she had a, a model uh, agency over there. And she, I convinced her, I was like, no, just try it for one month. See, in one month, if you can really make this a real-time thing. If you can't, you can always go back to modeling. But for now, take the month off. We're doing cool stuff. Try this real. She told her model agency she's not coming. She told her mom she I wasn't quit going. My she quit her agency. Everyone was super pissed at her. She was really was scared. Crying. She was crying. She's like, this isn't gonna work. Makes a video in Spanish two days later and goes viral. Yeah. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. 500k. Here you are. And all those model agencies Never and everyone who is doubting her, what'd they come back and say to you? Do you want to work with us? Uh-huh. <laughs> there you go, guys. So keep That's being true. a wolf, follow your dreams, and we'll and see, see you guys, guys in the, in the next, next video. video.